Donald Trump wants Fox News Sheriff David Clark to lead the Department of Homeland Security. This is actually one of the things that Mitt Romney and Marco Rubio and the other goofballs went after Trump for. That's kind of true. Where they, because Trump had casually said one time, like, hey, somebody asked him, where do you get, like, your information from? And, like, how do you know about all this stuff? He's like, oh, I watch the shows. I watch the shows. Meaning, like, the Sunday uh, talk shows. And he watches, like, Fox News all the time. So he watches it. He's like, okay, tremendous. Judge Napolitano would be a great Supreme Court judge. He said that at one point. <laughs> judge Napolitano, the judge on Fox News. He's like, yeah, dude, I don't know. He's on Fox News. He's a, he's a judge. I'm going to need to pick judges if I become president. I, I, I would pick Napolitano for the Supreme Court. Tremendous. Believe me. Um, so he did the same thing with Sheriff David Clark. He got, Sheriff Clark is a fucking maniac. Yeah, like, oh, he's, he's a strong character. Very conservative. He's a black man, so I could pretend like I'm very diverse because he's black, and I could just put a black guy who agrees with me on everything in there. It would be tremendous. So now he wants him for, again, to lead the Department of Homeland Security. Now, honestly, this may be one of his craziest picks yet, because we spoke about Steve Mnuchin, Goldman Sachs, you know, he wanted the president of Goldman Sachs or something else now. Gary Cohn, that guy's name is. So... Jeff Sessions, Attorney General, horrific, horrific, horrific picks. Some of the worst picks I've ever seen. Your worst fears and nightmares about Trump are coming true, at least in that respect, when it comes to his picks. Sheriff David Clark, listen to what he said in an interview with The Blaze. He said, I suggest that our commander-in-chief ought to utilize Article 1, Section 9, and take all of these individuals that are suspected, these ones on the internet spewing jihadi rhetoric, to scoop them up, charge them with treason and under uh, under habeas corpus, detain them indefinitely at Gitmo. Now, later on, when he was asked to clarify that and say, well, how, what are you talking about? How many people are you talking about here? He said, I'd put up to a million people at Guantanamo Bay and take away their rights. And the key word in what I just read you, quote, suspected. Let me ask you a question. You trust Donald Trump's government to get the, the correct suspected terrorists? So in other words, you expect the ones that they suspect to, oh, they're all actually Al-Qaeda and ISIS. Even under uh, Obama, who's much more reasonable, they don't always fucking get it right. We told you how George W. Bush and Dick Cheney got people uh, into Guantanamo Bay and Abu Ghraib and all the extrajudicial prisons. They cut a deal with Pakistani warlords and Afghanistan warlords. And so they shipped those people. They weren't fucking terrorists. They just weren't. And we fucking indefinitely detained them, tortured them. At least 20% of them were innocent of any crime at all. Some of them died after we tortured them. We did hypothermia torture, anal rape, anal feeding, uh, mock burials, sleep deprivation. I mean, the list goes on and on of we used a fucking communist Chinese manual on how to torture. And then we say, well, it was enhanced interrogation. But this guy, Sheriff David Clark, says, yeah, up to a million people who I suspect are terrorists, we're just going to ship them to Gitmo and take away their rights. That is the single most un-American thing I've ever heard anybody say, ever. Man, look, there's a reason why we have habeas corpus in due process. Because the government doesn't always get it right. So you need a way to adjudicate it, you need a way to figure out if the government got the right person or got the wrong person and what the punishment should be for that person. But they don't care, man. And isn't it funny? The people who are who claim to distrust government the most on the most important issues, your rights and life and death, they're like, just trust them. Just trust them. If they're suspected terrorists, ship them to Gitmo, take away all their rights. But you're the guys who say you don't trust government. You don't trust the fucking DMV to work right. You suspect the government will get a million people who they suspect are jihadis, and they're all going to be jihadis? That is fucking mental. That is just mental. That's mental. <laughs> okay, he wants this guy for the head of the Department of Homeland Security. You think he'd maybe have a little bit too much power there? <sighs> By the way, four people have died in this guy's jail recently. He runs a jail in Milwaukee. Four people have died in his jail recently. One of them of severe dehydration. Do you understand that? We're in the United States of America. The year is 2016. A guy was locked up in a jail. They forgot to give him water. 
head of the Department of Homeland Security. One of the people who died in his jail was a baby. I thought Jeff Sessions was as bad as it could get. I mean, Jeff Sessions for Attorney General. This is a guy who called a white civil rights attorney a traitor to his race. He said, I used to think the KKK were good people until I found out some of them smoke weed. He said, good people don't smoke marijuana. The guy is named after Jefferson Davis, the fucking president of the Confederacy. Unbelievable. I thought it was as bad as you can get with Jeff Sessions. And this is the guy who's going to, you know, be in charge of prosecuting hate crimes. Please. Please. No. Turns out uh, Sheriff David Clark may indeed be worse. Because he doesn't believe in rights. He doesn't believe in due process. He doesn't believe in habeas corpus. He doesn't believe in the Constitution. And it's not the same kind of thing as like the way the Cretans handle it now in government, which is also bad, don't get me wrong, where they say like, okay, every now and then we skirt that. No, no, no. He's like, that slippery slope we were talking about, let's go down it at about a thousand miles an hour and just take away a million people's rights. Lock them up, throw away the key, you're guilty enough because I said so. And hey, if some of you happen to die of dehydration in there, and if some of you are babies that I locked up, whatevs, dude. This is the guy who said, I believe in law and order, and then went on to say, it's time for uh, uh, torches and pitchforks. This is the guy who might lead the Department of Homeland Security. What the fuck have we gotten ourselves into?